I've had my Leon for 10 years now and I'm looking for some way to change the looks of it slightly. In a recent Instagram post, I thought that Millie was checking out the engine bay of the car when actually she was checking out the Stone Chip S logo. So in this video, I want to show you how to update the Seat logo to these new Cooper style badges. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to North Coast Workshop. I'm Kev and today what we're doing is changing the Seat logo badge on the front and on the boot latch as well to this new Cooper style logo which I got from AT Designs. They do 3D printing. I'll leave a link to their shop down below in the description. So these badges aren't a new thing. They've been around for a while. A lot of cars, like the Mark II Leons already have them fitted and I think the Mark III's as well, they've been getting quite a few fitted to them as well. So just gonna show the process of how I fit them to the car so you can follow them yourself if you plan on getting them later on as well. Yeah, it's just a wee Christmas gift to my Leon. It's that time of the year. Well, this video will be going out just before Christmas. So have a good one if you're watching before then. Hope you have a good one if you watch it after then. And if you're watching in six months time in the summertime, then yeah, just forget the whole Christmas theme altogether. It won't make any sense at all. Anyway, let's get started fitting this to the car. So for the front one, it's quite straightforward. It comes with these cable ties already pre-attached and it's just basically a case of threading it through the grill and then reattaching them on the other side. I don't know how this is going to work actually, but... Right, so that's the first one fitted. Uh, I just didn't realise until <laughs> putting the cable ties in that it's hard to get to obviously get them in. So using some long nose pliers, you can actually thread the cable tie in through itself and then start to pull it back on itself again with the pliers. If you have this whole grill off, it's going to be 10 times easier. I'm just wondering how well it's going to stay there because I, I know that it will pop off the bottom quite easily. So I might secure some double sided tape just under this lower edge if this starts to pop off and go up the way each time. But just now it's actually sitting really secure where it is and the cable tie is nice and tight. Right, now for the back one. So that's the boot latch off the boot and now we're going to try and separate this chrome badge off the whole assembly. I'm just going to gently prise up this bit here, trying to get that kind of uh, dowel in the plastic, try and get it away from the plastic so it comes out. There we go. That's what's inside there. There's a wee micro switch. Must be for triggering the boot to open itself. So if you're ever having issues with your boot latch not returning back to being closed, it could be the spring is gone or it could be there's just kind of corrosion inside here that's actually stopping it from freely moving back and forth. Right, now I can't actually see a way of getting... Oh, maybe it just unclips off here. I'm not too bothered to break the chrome bit because I'm not going to use it again. Five minutes later. Right, that took some figuring out. Okay, so I've started getting it off, it's near enough off altogether. Here's what to do. These bits, these bits here, latch over this bit. So you've got to lift these off around the back of here because it's all one piece. So these parts are attached to the badge as well. So you want to lift these away from this because obviously as they're trying to pull the badge off, it'll get caught on here. And then, if you can see in relation to there, I started to use a wee pick tool and I just prized from the corner and started prizing, working my way along the top. And as long as these bits are clear on the side, they'll come away and that's it in two pieces. So what I'm gonna do now is clean this up and then try and stick the new one onto here. Right, so it's all cleaned up. Like I said, taking off this little piece that was raised here, kind of be cross, so it's just sitting flush. Otherwise, it's going to keep the badge away from the, the surface of the boot badge. So peel off the sticky pads. These came attached to the badge already. Make sure we get this the right way around. So it's this way. Don't 
don't know if you can see the picture there, but because I've taken the chrome badge off, there's now this kind of gap between the mounting surface and straight down the middle there. So what I might do actually is get some sticky pads for number plates. Right, so like I was saying, because there was a gap across the back when you push this on top, there was a gap like down through the middle there. I've gone and put some double-sided tape on this lower part and then once I remove the sheets from this, put it all together, it should hold it firmly. Because these black 3M pads here will stick around the outer edges and then this white sticky pads here will hopefully hold the centre of the badge as well. So in the end, the double-sided tape wasn't doing its job, so what I did was I used two-part bonder around the edges to hold it in place, and now it's really stuck well. It is a bit messy around the edges, so once it's on the car, I'll see what I can see from the outside of the boot and clean it up some more if I can still see any remains of the glue that's come at the edges. Also, a couple of things to note is there's a couple of stress marks. I don't know how well the camera picks it up here on the edges, and it's just because the curvature of the badge, because it's kind of slightly bending, it's made a couple of stress marks, but they're really faint, very hard to see. Anyway, we'll get this back into the kind of casing for the boot latch and then get it back on the car and we'll get the finished shots. So a relatively effective and cheap mod for the Leon. The boot badge, I'm not sure if I've done it right, so anyone that's got a different process of doing it, then drop down below in the comments, let me know how I should have done it, because it looks good from a distance, but when you get up close, you can see the edges where I put on the two-part glue. I will try and clean them up with maybe some wet and dry sandpaper. Yeah, like I said, leave a comment down below if you've done one of these badges. Anyway, yeah, give 80 Designs a shout if you want badges for yourself. I'll leave a link down below in the description. And they do lots of different designs. They do the Cooper emblem in loads of colours. They do SEAT badges, FR badges, whatever you want. So yeah, give them a shout down below. This guy up here that's been photobombing uh, all my shots. That's about as far as my Christmas Eve theme goes for this video. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll leave links here on the screen for two more videos that I've done recently on the channel. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.